Do you sometimes look at your wardrobe and say to yourself, I've got absolutely nothing to wear? And yet when you look at it, it's bulging at the seams with out-of-date clobber. And we love hoarding all of this stuff that we never ever wear. What you need to do is put your wardrobe on a detox. So how do you prepare for the exorcism of all your old clobber in your wardrobe? Well, this is how you do it. All you have to do is you start from the left-hand side of your wardrobe and you work through what you might love and what you might want to get rid of. I bought that donkeys ago. It looked good on Kate Moss. I thought it was going to look good on me. So I'm definitely going to chuck that. That can go as well. We don't want that. This was half price in the sale. But is it because we saw the half price ticket that actually made us buy it? I've never ever worn this. So we're going to chuck that one. Or do we buy things in a size smaller because we hope they're going to be a good incentive for us to lose weight. But all it does, it sits in our wardrobe and it depresses us because it reminds us of exactly the weight that we would love to be. Now, a fashion victim is somebody who sees something that's bang on trend and has to have it purely because it's on trend. Dare I say it, that's exactly what I did. And I bought these high-waisted trousers. I think I'm gonna get rid of those as well. If you're a bulk buyer and you buy shed loads of the same thing, then just get rid of the scruffiest. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do with my jeans. Now, detoxing your wardrobe can be a very harrowing experience, but there is an upside girlies. And that is, it leaves a nice big gaping hole for loads of new goodies like this satin orange dress. That with a bright pair of pink neon tights will look really gorgeous. Now, who does that remind you of? Agnes Dean or what? Chuck that on with a pair of jeans. I'm telling you, you have got a seriously wicked outfit. Whatever you do, don't even consider chucking this lot out because there are many people out there who will love them just as much as you did. So what you've got to do is take these little bobby dazzlers down to your local vintage shop, aka your local charity shop. So I've bagged up all my car sauce from my greedy old bulging wardrobe and I've hot-footed it down to my local Oxfam shop. And the great thing is if you've got one item of Marks and Spencer's clothing in your bag, you can then go in there and get a five quid voucher that you can spend in any Marks and Spencer's. How great is that? Hello there. Um, I've got some clothes that I've just dug out from my wardrobe for you. Look what goodies you can find. I mean, how cool is that? Victoria Beckham S, bit of Nigella Lawson, she's in here as well. I mean, everybody's in here. Little Sienna Miller-esque, little lacy crochet number. Well, I am feeling super excited because I got rid of all of my old clobber, I've taken it to a charity shop, and the best thing is, I've got some great new things. So I'm off home to try them all on. Dress for your body type. What looks good on Kate Moss might not necessarily look that good on you. Buy for the size you are now, not what you're aspiring to be. Don't hoard, recycle. Yep, that means a good old wardrobe detox on a regular basis. So there you have it. Now you know how to cleanse your bulging wardrobes. And just remember one thing, fashion is all about having fun.